Now we're going to look at a unique feature of HiXChess Explorer, the ability to use multiple databases simultaneously. So for the example now, what I'm going to do first of all is decide what uh, database I'm going to create. I'm going to create a, a database of games of Michael Adams. So if we go to File New, we've shown you how to do this in an earlier video. Uh, here we're saving it in the default location. We'll call it, say, just so we know what it is that we're doing, Adams Games. Uh, save as type PGN, so everything else is uh, as normal. Save the database. So you see now we've got four databases open. Uh, the one I'm interested in doing the search in is Top Games, and the one I want to put those games into is the Adams Games database, which currently has nothing in it. So let's go back to Top Games and do a quick search for Michael Adams. Again, I've shown you how to do this in an earlier uh, video. So you can either hit return or just click on the Find button here. And now we get all the games in the database from Michael Adams, the way Michael Adams was involved. So we can see, as we saw in an earlier video, 1,010 games out of the 35,000 plus games in the database. So far, so good. How do we get those games into the Adams Games database? Well, with Hyax Chess Explorer, it is very simple indeed. We're going to do a copy-paste action, so we want to go to that edit menu that we looked at earlier, go to the copy section, and then there's three different options, position, game, and games. And that's the one we're interested in. Click on games. So we get a copy games dialog with three different options here. Do you want to copy the current game, all the games in the filter, or all games? Now search and filter in chess programs is generally used interchangeably. So this search we did down here, we've, well, it is another way you could say we filtered the database by games with Michael Adams in them. So we, it is the games in the filter. We've got a, a filter selection of games here. We're going to copy those games in the filter to a database. Which database? We've got three open, so there's three appearing in this little bit. The one we want to use is Adams Games. So we've selected Games in Filter, Adams Games, click OK. And it looks like nothing's happened, but don't worry, because now when we open Adams Games, we can see in the Game Explorer a whole host of Adams games and instead of it being 1010 out of 35,000 we've now just got 1010 games all involving Michael Adams and we can uh, search through that or play through any of these games as we like. A unique and powerful feature of the new HiArx Chess Explorer.